Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Level M Diecast coming to you. A little under the weather, but that's perfectly fine. We will make do. This video, I would say, has been in the making for about 10 months. It uh, feels like it's been forever since these have been on pre-order from Outback Toys. This is the brand new exclusive first generation Ram. Uh, this casting is going to be making its way through other green light stuff, but this is their kind of debut set. Uh, this was actually supposed to come out before anything else. This is the full 10 truck set we're going to take a look at. And it's, of course, they are definitely going to get some rotator guide time. So we're just going to go in and we're just going to take a look. So there are two of these lifted ones. These ones are a little bit lifted. They're not four by four. Just lifted a little bit. Do have a roll bar in the back. Uh, two different versions here. This one in this nice emerald green two-tone with silver tow hitch on the back of course those totally 90s ram wheels on there for sure looking pretty good so we're going to take a look at that guy the other version of that one is a little bit more modified a little bit more fancy looking uh this one in a kind of a tri level of color uh silver black and some yellow striping this one looks pretty good black wheels on this one of course lifted again not super lifted you know not four by four style or i should say not monster truck style but Lifted pretty good. This one looks super cool, though. It does have that same roll bar on the back, though. Just in solid black. These ones are arguably going to be the coolest ones. These are the pool trucks. These are the Cummins Turbo Diesels. They do have the uh, pool part in the front there. I don't exactly know what that is, I'll be honest with you. But I think it's a, it's a cooler or a, it's either that or it's a... It's a uh, a pusher or something to that effect in the bumper there. Uh, but the coolest thing about this guy is that center mounted exhaust right out of the bed. Just ridiculous. Just super, super cool. This one is also lifted like the first two. This one just in solid black. These are all Ram 250s, by the way. Every single one in this mix is a Ram 250. Um, so we're just going to go through these. I believe they're all Ram 250s. Those are the 350s when we get to the dualies. This one, uh, just a recolor in solid white. So you have solid black and then solid white. See, this one has quite a bit of flashing issue on the uh, toe hitch right there. So see if we can clean that up when we get them cracked open. But uh, again, center mounted, uh, kind of off-centered mounted uh, exhaust stack right out the bed. Just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous that that's an aftermarket thing that people do now. And Greenlight put it in their, their mixes here. All right, next up, we're going to have this mix of just four regular ones. These are non-lifted ones. These ones don't have the lift on them, just basic kind of hubcaps on the steelies on this guy. So these are also Ram 250s as well. So all Ram 250s with the exception of the Dooley's. This one in kind of a two-tone silver uh, and then kind of a gray color. Looks pretty cool. Pretty much your base stock first-generation Ram. Pretty average. So throw that guy down there. Uh, this one a little bit more upscale. This is a better trim level. Got some chrome wheels on there. Looking very, very good. Red and white. Very, very nice. Iconic deco color. Of course, they all have trailer hitches on them, which is super, super cool. Definitely like that. Another cool one. This one just in blue. Kind of back to the kind of more basic version. Blue and silver. Looks very, very good. Definitely got a 90s flair to it for sure. They definitely don't do these uh, two-color, two-tones on uh, trucks really at all nowadays. Uh, this one is the coolest one of the singles, though, just because it is tan and brown. Uh, just just screams right out of the 80s. Um, it looks good. It looks super cool. I do like this one. A little bit more upscale trim as well. Again, trailer hitches on all of these. So we're going to go through these looking super, super cool. And then we move on to the... Uh, Hitch and toes, if you want to call them that. These are the Ram uh, 350 flatbeds uh, with the fifth neck gooseneck trailer or fifth wheel gooseneck trailer. Um, this one in red looks fantastic. Looks really, really good with the dualies. Of course, has those nice actual dually wheels on there. That is a new wheel design, I do believe, for this particular uh, casting. Not one we've seen in the uh, dually line yet, but that one looks super, super cool. Comes with a silver gooseneck trailer and then yes ladies and gentlemen like always that happens on my channel quality has struck again you'll see that this ram is missing the front bumper there is no front bumper on this ram uh it is not in the package as well um i will tell you um i did tag out back and copy them on my instagram 
they did reach out and uh, remedy uh, this issue. Uh, basically gave me a couple options. I, I chose one of the options and uh, took care of it. So I am going to keep this particular one. Um, I will work on trying to get a bumper replacement. But every single one we saw, they all have the same front bumpers. Except for that pusher one. But this one looks really, really good. White with black, black wheels on this. And then, of course, black trailer. So that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and chop open all the uh, clamshells and put them on the rotators. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick this off. We're basically going to go from the bottom to the top, I guess, in terms of trim levels. Um, all these are Ram 250s, though, so they are meant to be moving some stuff. Uh, this one in silver and gray two-tone looks pretty good. Um, this is a pretty decent casting. It does it does sit a little bit wide. Um, and then, of course, the bed's a little bit shallow. But I don't think it looks bad. Um, it looks really good from the front. But I think when you kind of look at it from the top, it just seems a little bit wide. This one's a little bit more exaggerated, I think, because it's just regular ride height. It's not lifted or anything to kind of offset the width of it. it does have uh, chrome front and rear bumpers, which are separate pieces. Nice print on the front and back as well. Deets on the side look pretty decent. I do like the, uh, you know, the hubcaps. Looks pretty cool. Uh, no opening features, no opening hood, no opening tailgates or anything like that. Kind of what green light's been doing. Of course, we don't have any dualies or any trucks like that that have opening features. That's just not kind of the, not the MO. There is your deets on the side, the badging with the Ram 250. Print's not that great, but it's a pretty small print in there. Hubcaps look pretty good. Fuel cap looks pretty good as well. There are the deets on the back. Prints look pretty good. Just say Outback. Uh, so it says OB. Get that to focus a little bit. I'm struggling. OBT101 maybe. So I would say Outback Toys 101 maybe. But the prints look pretty good in the back. Of course, tow hitch on there. That is plastic tow hitch, by the way. Unfortunately, there is the deets on the front. Looks pretty good. Does say Dodge above the grill. Again, it is relatively wide in the front, but I don't I don't think it's too bad. But the casting definitely is just a little bit too wide. It definitely is a grimacing menace for you, for sure. There is the base Dietz 1992 Dodge Ram. It says there is the number etched right there, 935. I do anticipate these will all be relatively low numbers. I did have these on pre-order for quite some time. You'll see the holes drilled in the base. Those are for uh, lifted axles, which we will get to for sure. So silver one looks pretty good. Definitely like that one. All right, moving on to the next low trim. This is blue and silver two-tone. I do like the blue. Nice deep cerulean blue looks very, very good. Um, it definitely looks a little bit more eye-catching than the silver did. Um, this one's probably a little bit more sought-after color combination, I would say based on just its appeal uh, but it's going to have all the same deeds as the one we just looked at um, it is the same trim level ram 250 does have the same hubcaps and stuff like that but just in uh, additional color which i think is pretty cool uh, i'm a little bit bummed out that the trailer hitches are plastic but uh you know that may be a cost cutting that uh, green light decided they just absolutely had to do for whatever reason and that's fine i mean things happen Let's see if this guy has a different plate on him. So it looks like this guy has the same plate as OBT 101. So that looks pretty good. Bumpers look pretty good as well. Flip this guy around, see what number he is. Etched in there, 388. So lower number than the first one, but like I said, we're all of these are probably going to be sub 1,000 numbers, I would assume. All right, next one up is this red and white combo with nice chrome wheels. Definitely a more upscale trim uh, on this one than the first two. A little bit less work truck, a little bit more, uh, you know, fancy truck. Definitely not the luxury trucks we see nowadays. Um, this was still, trucks were still very, very much a utilitarian vehicle uh, in the 90s. This one looks really good, though. I do like the red and white two-tone. It looks very, very nice. Um, that kind of upscale wheel, that's total Ram wheel, looks really, really good. Looks a little bit different in chrome. Uh, when we get to the uh, later one in green, uh, we can compare, you know, silver to uh, chrome. I think the silver just makes the wheel pop a little bit better. 
But I really like this one a lot. And all the chrome details just go much, much better with this one. Again, Ram 250. That one is a much better print on this one for sure. Deets on the back. Of course, it is the exact same plate. But it does say Dodge across the back, which is really, really nice. Etched number on there, 1261. So this one is a relatively higher number uh, comparatively for the run. So didn't, didn't, uh, didn't think I was going to get an over 1,000 number, but that's perfectly fine. Again, we don't really care about the numbers, but we'd like to check them out. This one just screams 90s Ram for me. I don't know. I, I know the red and white one is, is probably the more common color combination. But, you know, when I'm looking for, um, you know, Rams for sale and stuff like that, this seems to be the combination color code for the quote-unquote square body Ram, if you want to call it a square body, um, is this is two-tone with a brown and a tan. It's just... I just think it looks cool. I just think it looks cool. I think it'd be really, really nice with some black wheels on there. You know, maybe uh, color match the bumpers to the body or something like that. It would just be kind of a cool, kind of a retro mod style kind of deal to it. But it looks pretty good. Um, you know, this definitely, definitely something you see on a farm or something like that. I, like I said, all these castings are the same trim. They're just different colors. So there's not too much difference between the two of them. I do like that two-tone color, though. I think it looks really, really good. That total Ram wheel, definitely. Same plate again. So, unfortunately, no difference on the plates, but that's okay. Number on this guy looks like 435 is the number. So, getting back down in the numbers again. So, chasing those numbers. All right, we're going to go next step up. This is going to be kind of like the, I don't know. Kind of like the more 4x4 version. So these are lifted. Um, they do have additional axle pieces on the bottom. We'll take a look at that. Of course, it has the lower hitch on there to make sure that uh, it's essentially hooking up at the same level as the other ones were. It does have that nice roll bar in the back. Um, that roll bar really kind of exaggerates the width of the truck, I, I think, in my opinion. Uh, but I love the color combination, black and silver with some yellow striping. Flat black in the bed of the truck looks really, really good. It's a little bit of more of a customized truck, which I think is super cool. Looks really, really, really cool. I think a lot of guys will have a ton of fun uh, customizing uh, these lifted ones for sure. Especially like, uh, you know, ones that have the roll bars in there because then you don't have to add a bunch of accessories to it. Again, Dietz on the side, Ram 250. You'll see that this one's a little bit different. It's a Power Ram 250, so that one's pretty cool. Again, details. Green, green light's really, really good about attention to small details. Same grill, same bumper on the front to say Dodge still. And then taking a look at the back. Same plate between the, all of them. Looks good. And take a look at our base deets. You'll see that those are the lifted axles. They do plug into those holes. This guy is 401, which is pretty cool. Um, I especially like these lifted axles because you see there is some detail to the axle. You see some uh, suspension components in there. So when it's sitting in the back right there, when you see the bottom of it, it doesn't look so ridiculous. So pretty happy about that. It's a pretty nice detail from Greenlight for sure. All right, the other one in that trim has got a little bit of an issue, and we'll we'll talk about that. So this is that Screaming Ram wheel. You'll see it does look a lot better with silver. You can see all the details of it with that center cap in there. And then, of course, just all the holes drilled on the outside. Uh, it's a very 90s Ram wheel for sure. Uh, this one in this uh, Deep 4 is green. Uh, looks really, really good. A little bit of silver on the bottom. I do like this color combination a lot. I do like the silver roll bar in the back. Looks very, very good. Uh, the factory got beyond out of control with the super glue on the roll bar as you can see it just they just doused it with super glue and just left all this residue in there so i don't know if i can clean that up or not but again you know uh green light quality just seems to hate us here at level m i just i i can't win i can't win for losing at all i can't I can, just nothing i can do and you know these these ones are the worst because these are very very limited quantities you know, they're not like your general hobby exclusives. These are even next level beyond that. But the truck looks pretty good. I do like the truck. 
Take a look at the deets on the side. Of course, this is a Power Ram 250, just like before. Get that guy to focus. There we go. Then deets on the back. Looks pretty good. See what number we got on this particular one. 357. So, again, another low number. So, we've only had one above 1,000. Looks pretty good. I do like the lifted parts on these ones. They look pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, we're going to go on to our puller or pusher trucks, uh, which are just ridiculous. This one looks especially nice because this one, this truck specifically looks like a nice, tastefully modded uh, Ram that you would see rolling around on the streets right now, especially with that center, or I keep saying center, but that bed mounted exhaust in there that's kind of a little bit off, off to the center. It looks good. This one looks really good. I think the chrome wheels are a perfect offset. Chrome grill, chrome bumpers looks very, very good. I really like this one a lot. This is, this one's really, really, really nice. I think overall this is probably going to be my favorite. Although I do like that gray or that uh, brown and tan two tone. I just love that color combination. But this one is just so, so clean. It looks so good. There is that uh, exhaust stack coming out the bed of the truck. There is a two-part to it, smaller in the bottom and then bigger at the top, so you get the big old smokestack going on it. Details on the side. See, this is a Power Ram 250. I think this is a Cummins. So, can't really get that to show up down there. Pretty sure this is Cummins turbo diesel underneath it. It's just, you can't read it because the print is so small. Oh, yeah, there we go. Barely read that. Cummins turbo diesel. That's Super cool detail. There is your puller attachment on the front or pusher attachment on the front. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Drop me a comment. School me. Let me know. I know you guys know. Let me know what's going on with that piece. It is just glued on there in the front. Flip this around. Take a look at our number. Looks like 192. 192. So that's a pretty, pretty low number. Definitely the lowest number we've seen thus far. Looks pretty good. Again, nothing different with the base. They just add the axles. This is the same axle as the previous one. It's not lifted any higher. Just has thicker tires on it. A little bit of a cheat. All right. This is the other one. And I'm super, super bummed out about this one. Because this one has a very, very, very bad factory flaw. A very bad factory flaw. Um, so we're up to like five, six factory flaws in, in this mix. Ah. Uh, this one looks really good in white. I do like it. It's the exact same one we just looked at. Um, the attachment piece on the front is in black. Wheels are in black. Looks good. I think the chrome grill, chrome bumpers are still okay. They would look better in black, but they still look good. Um, still has that nice smokestack out the bed, which looks really nice. Um, you guys, I think you guys can agree. With these lifted ones, the truck doesn't seem as wide anymore. It seems very, very appropriately sized. And then when you see this truck on a monster truck, because they are coming... Um, that's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect size, but uh, it definitely looks better with it lifted. Now, you know, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but you're looking at this. It looks a little wonky. Well, there's a problem why it looks so wonky. So my front axle is not seated, as you can see on this side here. You see this part right here on that side. It is not seated in the base. So the wheel is completely different height as the other side. Um, and that's, it's glued. It's super glued. You'll see the opposite side is completely seated. See how far up the uh, passenger side or the um, driver side is. Um, it just, it just really bums me out. So the only way that I can fix that is I would have to break the plastic, uh, move it down, and then uh, put a little bit of glue on there, which I'm probably going to end up doing. But it's just really frustrating that I have to break something right out of the package and then try to fix it. Uh, you can see number 207 is the number on this one. You can see that the uh, rivet got really messed up on this guy too. They definitely messed up hitting the rivet spot on this one too, which is unfortunate. But looks it looks okay. This is the one that had all that flashing on the trailer hitch, which I was able to clean up, so not a big deal. Moved on from that guy. All right, moving on to our last deco set. This is the Ram 350. It is the dually flatbed. Uh, this is a new 
fly bed section in the back. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It looks really, really good. This truck is very, very nice. Um, I think the width and stuff works perfectly for this one as the dually. Um, again, it's all the same front end. They're all the same. You know, back in the day, the, the dually trucks, the HD trucks, they were still the exact same trucks. They just had beefier chassis and stuff like that. Not like nowadays where you're, you know, some of your 2,500 and all of your 3,500 class trucks are, you know, a different body almost entirely. Uh, this one looks really good, though. Of course, it does come with the gooseneck attachment, which just sits in the back. Glue it in there, however you want to do it. There is a uh, gooseneck that will go on the back. We'll take a look at that uh, in just a minute. So take a look at this guy. There is your Ram 350 on the side. Looks very, very good. Does have the same Cummins turbo diesel print on the bottom of it. The bed looks very, very nice. Nice diamond plating detail on the top. Maybe a little bit big on the diamond plating, but, you know, it is what it is. They wanted to show it off. There is the deets on the back. Again, same plate as we've been seeing with everything, which is good. Prints look good. Tail lights look good. Front end looks good. Again, just a little bit of a lifted uh, style to it. It is the exact same attachment for the dualies as it is for the single model or the single axle. And then um, 546 number on this guy. It is you know glued on there. Uh, very interesting. The base. So the base is made to the width of the uh, flatbed in the back, which I think is okay. Just kind of different. A little bit different than what they do with some of the other dually trucks. But it looks good. Definitely like that guy. And then the last one we're going to take a look at is this guy. And, of course, if you ever wanted to know what it looks like without a bumper, there you go. This guy has no bumper. So this one, I really like this one, though, because the white and the black looks pretty good. It does make it look a little bit older. Um, it kind of looks like it's an old beater kind of truck uh, versus the red one. I don't know why. It just gives me that vibe. You guys can let me know if you agree or not. Um, but it looks it looks good. It looks good. It's Kind of bummed out there's no bumper in there. There was no bumper in the package. If there was a bumper in the package, I would have just re-glued it. Not that big a deal. But there was no bumper in there. I got no bumper at all. So I will have to pick up a bumper at some point in time. But all these castings take the same front bumpers. So we'll just roll with that. In black looks especially nice. I think it looks especially nice with the black wheels on it. Very, very nice. Take a look at the base deets on this guy. 486 is the number. Other than that, same o same o. So what we'll do is we'll take our rotator guy. We'll move him out the way. Turn him off real quick. We'll get some negative zoom out of here real quick. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring in our ram. And then just so that we can see what it looks like with the fifth wheel attachment on there. The fifth wheel back section here is adjustable. So you just kind of have to wiggle it a little bit. So it sits a little bit lower. Slide it into the base part there. And that's what it looks like all hooked up with a fifth wheel. Actually looks pretty good. You do have to adjust the fifth wheel quite a bit. Um, I think some of the other models that it hooks up to sits a little bit higher, but this one looks pretty good. Um, I think what we need to do is take this guy. We need to load him back up since he's all wobbly you see that take him back to the factory and uh, drop him off and get a new one get an updated one uh while we're at it we'll just have a little bit of a little bit of a combination there so we're just going to roll out with that stuff we're going to throw some rams down here and let me know what you guys think about that first generation kit i really like it a lot it's definitely a long time in the making and been in pre-order for a million years it's been delayed for a million years um, but I really like it. I'm glad that it's out. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased. I like all the Ram stuff. Big Mopar guy here at Level M. But um, let me know what you guys think about those. If you're going to pick them up. I will admit to you guys, if you did not pre-order them from Outback Toys, um, you are going to be paying an enormous amount of money for them. Um, just the single trucks alone are going to put you back about $30. Bucks. Um, dualies are going to put you back about $45. Um, I paid, uh, I think 135 bucks for the whole kit pre-ordered, which was a good deal. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think about that. Glad I can bring it to you. Apologize for being a little bit under the weather. So glad you guys made it through that with me and, uh, we'll get better and get on to another video. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Level
Peace.